And we're back, everyone, to more Witcher 3. So, I was going to do something out, but I decided to cancel that entire series because I reached a point well. Basically, I screwed up, so I decided I'd let myself die so I could restart. But, the last hour save was like 30 minutes ago, so... I... Yeah, I wiped the entire series. But that's why you quick save. That's why you save. It's one of those games that only has auto saves. And saves that basically upon quitting at certain intervals. So, yeah. Unfortunate. Anyway, we're about to Witcher 3 because... Oh boy, do I have so much to upload still. So we're gonna work on this stuff. Oh boy, is there a lot of this stuff to work on. Still pretty. Cast on the distance. I was gonna say my want a vineyard in the distance, but I can't really see it. Too many trees. But look at how pretty it is. Look at these flowers. They're so pink and majestic. Like lots of people like I was watching Markiplier do Red Dead Redemption 2 and every five minutes it's so pretty I'm having those moments in this game Red Dead Redemption 2 is it's what I consider a slow beautiful game the only problem though is it's not on PC and that pisses me off then again, my computer could probably not even run it. I really need to upgrade this thing. Oh, well, I have danger. What oh. seems to be a problem? There's a deal. There, there's a deal. Have you guys never seen a deal before? Okay. Lay about wonks, sluggards, skyrim. <coughs> I fetch this empty dead sweep up here. Botch it all. Gods be bum poked, you must hang on, my lady. Poke. You Jacob. Heal Moholt <laughs> down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Lewis Herrera's Tales and Fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See? Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you... You could lift the curse. Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. That blood looks So what makes you think there's a girl angle. cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Blood Axe in hand, weird a broad angle. swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew, every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx Craig. Don't tell me, from Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bit. Second edition, Port. I meant it in Octavo. I 
Know those tales by heart. My nan writ them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for nights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crowd pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. And My gran would say, angry. if you know not what to do, do you have a pet think even? to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra, and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Well, let me look at the tree. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. You must hang on, milady. Well, that's it. Uh, swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. Well, what did you learn? Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood, too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense that's magic like at work so here. To see. Here, right in the Crotoro region, too. I mean, you can see the shape there a bit, can't you? Well, maybe more than the stomach. Actually, does bleed. No, blood. Okay. Looks like you see blood the direction too. of the tree, the judging bark. by the shape of the stains, hypertrophic scars in places. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willows isolated. No other trees near it. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? Well, I'll look. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. <laughs> to await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. The power of love. So you must you're scale you're Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Oh god, it's like Germana all over again. The tree's gonna start telling me how much it loves me. Yeah, man was an interesting series. So. Well, that's for the way that I thought it was. Well. It's gonna be several days before I get over though. Cause I need to go over here. And clear the band sight. Which means... I'm gonna have to wait a day. Cause that's how Geld works. I 
ça Ok. Now, Sally, I don't think this heals me. Despite the fact we are technically meditating for basically like a day. I always find it weird though, it's like we wake up and just, <laughs> and people are here, no one's bothered him. I was like, wait, wait, they just, just because, convenient healing. And that dog just moved into nothing. Is it over then? Thank you, witches. Mm. What I do, that's what I do. Oh, moved over there. That's more wine I can have. If I see that tittering tat again. I swear it, I'll scratch her eyes out. So. Of course we should hit things on the way. Just because. By the way, we'll look at that shortly. Carlos, sending you an old batch of hay seeds and big dreams of banditry. Train the well as all you can and send me the tough ones. Drown the overs in the pond. Waff. So, a girl from us definitely loved each other so much it hurt to win the proofs who true. Waffle. Oh, had to perform seven challenges. The seven first, the hardest. Gov had to go to Lane's Crag, find the witch who lives there, convince her to lift the drought that plagued the whole land. Everyone, including Daphne, pleaded with Gov to humble himself before the witch. You see, the witch from Lane's Crag was spiteful and headstrong, even for a witch, and only a natural true humility could break in her icy heart. Gov, however, was a dumbass, and had no intention of bending his knee before a witch. Said he planned to force her to lift the curse. Nobody knows what happened to Lane's Crag, but Gov now returned to his beloved Daphne. She stood on top of the hill and looked for him day and night. Finally, she turned into a tree, because that's a thing. <laughs> so that she may live to see the return of her night. Such was the strength of her longing and the power of her love. Anyone who plunges that right into that tree would see blood run from the wound. Folks started to avoid that place, being definitely in peace and wait to wait for Gareth. Time all had forgotten about her. <laughs> and there a word carver came up and smacked the Tree of an ant and start to bleed. Cause holy crap. Bleeding trees. See, even the regular bandit caps have good loot. Like Valen look like a, like in Valen you'd find like maybe like fifty gold. Maybe one of those and yeah. Here you find all this loot. Holy crap, that's a lot of loot. Well, chain darts and russet rags force us down to the manners of the rich and rot with jealousy. Turn the fields for a few pathetic crowns. Not even got uh, a great war nor no great tra what, tragedies or great wars fought against ourselves. Great tragedy is a Ban our assistance. Our elders raised us to believe one day we would throw off our 
We burn, but that should never happen. Slowly we have come to realize this, and that has us rip roaring with rage. Lost hands gives those who join something in return. It shows them that without pain, without sacrifice, the hands would achieve nothing. And by joining its ranks, they will get what they have always desired. But the grass says they must be ready to fight for their lives. Because when you come here for the first time, you must fight. Okay, so what's in these boxes? Some mugs, eh? So loft is up here somewhere, if I remember. Or maybe it's yeah, somewhere up here, I think. Oh, hi, Blown scrap of fabric. This scrap went from my own garment. Used my own blood and a fragment of bone. From some unknown creature. I write somewhere in my sad tale, for I shall surely perish far for it. Perhaps one day a barter will happen upon it, and composed from an bow to squeeze tears from the most fretless miser. miser. Some time ago, I spied a monster roaming in proximity to my estate. On further investigation, I learned there was a she troll, descended from the Gargon. Years. I that scraped together a few crowns and went to the Camerlingo to request to hire he hire a knight Aaron to slay the monstrosity. Yet yeah, as I was making this journey, said she draw sprang out of the bushes. No doubt by my horse and profess something in the Gobert's feature trolls. But I took to mean she had chosen me as her <laughs> bill. Since it is most ill bred to be rude to a lady, even a monstrous one, I declined to politely Ready to be on my way when she tossed a sack over me, tucked me under her arm, carried me here to this clearing. She locked me in a cage and stared at me for hours, sending creeping chills down my spine. So now I slowly starve to death for her while she gives me clear water to drink. My only fear is the soup that she drew. Spends all day brewing a falcon caught to reek of carrion and onion. I would rather perish than put that slurry to my lips. Well, you should have drank the soup. Our percent well. My one plan to record something failed. Unless I think of something else, my schedule seems to be just mostly Witcher 3. And tell like, I don't know, February. And I might work on something else. Unless I decide to randomly record Save something me. else. Or high bandits. Is your story. I owe you my life, unknown knight. How were you dubbed? Dubbed Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. My thanks, Sir Geralt. The Scully works sought to demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin, there were too many and I I failed. Yeah, it uh, happened. There's no use crying over spilt wine. 
Come with me to Vormentino. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some other need you might have. Uh, I'll come by later. Go ahead. I'll stop by when I'm in the uh, area. I'll start working on stuff. So, if I remember right, that was what? Pill? Maybe? Unless it's this town over here. No. Of course, the only one. So many random houses. Get the all lot. People are smaller than they were <laughs> they were about. Leaving houses is unlocked. Oh, so I like what they did with the loot. It's no longer like, well, I could check this box, and I could check this box, and that box. No, it's like they basically took all the, like, three loot boxes and just tossed them all together. So I hear you over there, wolves. Don't know why I'm taking a corkscrew, but I am. Have I mentioned I don't like wolves? I believe I've mentioned that a dozen or more times. Well, technically I like wolves, I just hate them in video games mostly because, well, they're... Like, wolves are a common enemy. Way too ah. common of an enemy. And that means the mirror day. Well, let me guess. Show me what you got. Over abandoned side, I have to rest. Cannot you. let him get away. And you're probably sleeping out here for another day. Cause Garo does that. See that bandit was actually smart. He had on. Now just spying me out here and shirts and pants short. Like some of them was bandits. Hey, go tickle your peeler. Don't let him get on! Oh, I see you over there. Well, oh, see, that's so... that's a nail guard in there. Well, instead of looting their bodies, I'm just gonna set him. I know it irritates me a lot. It's like that there's bodies to loot. Nope, just gonna sit here till people show up. Hey look, people showed up. At least the bodies don't decay that fast usually. Oh, and there's an inhale now. Isn't that? If I were to put up my wife and Whoa, <laughs> my bad times, folk. Ah! Didn't mean to start punching. Oh! Oops. Onions, some strawberries, more grilled pork. Lepiota. Praised be our Lord Lepiota. You come in his name. You are his Ephatar. Maybe. Nope. Just a witcher who happened to be passing through. By the prophet's intervention. He was your guide. He nudged your footsteps here. If you say so. What shall we call you, hero? <sighs> I'm Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. Geralt! Laughly, it rings. 
Sacred it sounds. Do you thirst or hunger? Um, might as well. Mm. Let me see what you're serving. All the food. We have more than enough for days. But I'm still gonna buy it all. I mean, look how much wine we have. Cause wine, wine sadly doesn't stack that well. Like we can have over, like up to a hundred for that, but we can only have up to 18 in the wine category. Like, I think it's like 10 in the booze category though. Or is it five? Might be five there, ten, nine there, eight there. That's, the categories are weird, okay? Take care now. You are sorely missed already. Oh no, I missed. Oh, oh my way. Ooh, note. No, just, just a piece of it. I lent you coin. I'll finally be able to drink in peace. And I'll so drink to your exactly. help. Oh, far tall. Okay. I don't know, maybe it is over there. Anyway. Finally, we head to where we're supposed to be going. Miserable. And hungry. Wait a second. No, nothing. That's the half read, right. So on my to-do list. Now we go to Link's Crag. Probably. I mean, who else is it gonna be? Ooh, strawberries. Hot looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Liberi Vonis. Comes me up to dust. this tome. Then came to a place where I was found. The world known as Shagai. The mind of man cannot comprehend this land. Where a non -geo geometric space of blasphemous colors fly in the face of everything our eyes are accustomed to. Instant, in the moment of my arrival, I teach it on the verge of madness. I shout a noiseless cry and sweat. Bloody sweat when two suns rose upon my head. I fell to my knees and prayed to Zakhalov, not for salvation, but for a quick death. Sounds like something run by H.P. Lovecraft. Warm. Smells inconclusive. No idea what ingredients are in there. Transmutation bodies is one of the most difficult tasks any mage can take. You know, only the two masters of art have ever accomplished it. Even they have only perfected one of its forms. This difficulty arises from psycho physical limitation since the mage can always safely transfer onto an animal with which she is perfectly attuned. Famous example is that of Oaf Blackbeard, uh, who dwelt for years in a cave with a bell in order to bear the life essence of that animal. Feral player knows how to turn into an owl. So that oh. Ooh, Notes on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Yarrow is first and foremost used for medical purposes, as mentioned above. The leaves of this herb are placed against the flesh, they heal all kinds of trauma, wounds, and sores. 
Approved in the Southern Tenture Treats, the Common Cow, Colac, and Loss of Appetite. Yet, in addition to the healing properties, the branches of the Yale plant can be used for fortune telling. This method for divination might seem strange upon first glance, but it's true, simple, and effective. It truly allows one to focus on the query at hand and can answer both accurate and satisfying. But so what is this? <clears throat> Hi. What well, we mm, have here? A wall of spell enhancements, or trophies. Well, let's see, we have an arrow. Arrow, broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch off a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest, or a bad one. Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Speaking of stray cats. Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Link's Crag, would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sagarath. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. Tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not abide it. Hmm. What if I asked you nicely? To lift the curse, please. Gareth met the fate he deserved. And what happened to his wench was not my fault. All right, so you didn't cast the curse. But could you help lift it? I probably could. But why ever would I? I'll humble myself. Prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the tale did. I beseech you to help me. Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. When I saw you enter my hut, I thought, now yeah, there is a really fellow who shall bend his neck <laughs> for no one. To do. Stand. Well, that's what the perk said to do. None. Not even I can restore to the last the yes she has lost, can erase the suffering she has endured. We cannot bring her back to life, but I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have its price. A lock of your hair. <sighs> how can I know you won't use it to cast a spell on me? I require this. I must, for with it I will cast a spell to conceal me from you for all time, and will use it for nothing else. You will nag me never again, and you've nothing to fear, I assure you. I always keep my word. Well, fine, I'll sure. I'll trust you not. against my better judgment. Yeah, probably Lock of my hair is yours.
spoon And then we were forever cursed. What do I need to do? You must convince the maiden her beloved yearned to return, but perished in the attempt. Take her silk kerchief and a fragment of Gareth's remains. His bones lie bleaching in the cave beneath this rock. Fire must consume the kerchief and remains. And remember, your heart, your intentions must be pure. Clear? Yeah. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. And adieu. Once you walk out that door, never shall we meet again. Okay. Bye. And then she's forever gone. Oh, it's the door's locked. So she could be in there for all we know. Yep, she could be under there for all. She could be in there for all we know. Doesn't really matter. Plate armor and some bones. Gareth's remains? These then? Wonder why the armor came apart. Magic? Gotta get Just back to the tree. Right. Lift the curse. Now I must return to the tree. This time is of the essence. Yeah. Oh, those wolves. They are wolves. You people are in danger. Run. And then the townsfolk were eaten by wolves. Oh, well. So? You met the witch. You must have. What did you learn? That witch? She's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceresses witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? I can lift the curse, free her. By performing a ritual, making a sacrifice of her kerchief and Gareth's remains. But we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds. Then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood. Much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. I think technically all we really had to do was find his bones and the handkerchief and we could have done this on our own. I've chopped and but... stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. 
no I idea how this will turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, run. Because remember, she is a spare trap tree. Look your last to the world's four winds. From the south, not a word. From the east, no cry is heard. From the north, silent sighs. Now I set myself on fire. From the west, pure hollow eyes. Cease your vigil. Dead he lies. Remember, pale or Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. The day of your freedom has come. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Behold, a bone of he to whom you offered your love. I think I have done this and screwed up maybe because of damn the bone before. Gareth. My Gareth. He shall never return. Oh, hi. How are you? No. He won't. Is his love for me gone? Did he stay true? Now this right here, do we lie or tell the truth? Gareth broke his vow, failed to stay faithful. Man is built of mud and filth, milady, and is like to blunder we all are. How cruel is the world to render conferring one's love so hard? But what would the world be without love? Well said. The time comes that I depart. I've waited too long. I've suffered too much. And now I wish to go. Farewell, milady. Fairly well. I thank you, stranger. And you, my knight. I thank you for speaking to me. For standing vigil at my feet. I did not think it would end this way. I hoped we could revive her. But I guess it was not to be. Uh, did what we could? We did all we could. You did well. Here, your pay. And the book is yours as well. Thanks. Take care of yourself. So long, Witcher. I must think, put this straight in my head. Right lucky thing you showed up. I was just gonna let these fires burn. Hopefully not catch the whole area on fire. But yeah, that's... That was the thing. No, we're not doing that quest. Mm. Yeah, that's probably gonna require me another couple of it. Just before I get over there. Something seriously wrong here. You say that? Oh. Barkin. Barkin. I'm going to be like. Ah, uh, hell, hell. So 
next bedroom. Alright. Dark. Fag. Not sure where to start. Dig. Ask the nearest old washerwoman. Old men were doing by the road. They know ev they know everything, yes, yes. I know it takes a great deal of patience. And you have to separate the wheat from the chief, but it's the best way to learn about local legends. That's how we came to find Vato. Well they say the spoil sprout the soil sprouts clay pots. I got part of the vineyard on the outskirts of Vato, but we we found them. Those were not pots, those were elven funeral urns. Well, they have some problem right now. Seems the villagers feel uh, atop an ancient, unsaved ne ne necropolis. That cemetery dates, by my reckoning, to the time before the first land, so the graves might be full of valuables. The ancient elves buried their dead along with great wealth. Probably take about the field choice bottles, but I'm sure if we look deeper, we can find much more. Today we saw a new dig and a new location. Rafa spied a beautifully ornate cameo in the ground, and when he tried to grab it, he discovered it was clenched in the hands of the skeleton. And things started to mock him, but quickly lost all desire to laugh. The valley was full of elven skeletons, men, women, even children. Bodies were all mitts with limbs lopped off, many heads missing, children with crushed rib cages. What happened to him? Don't sleep this night. Blood cries wails. We drench in sweat. Then I doze off for a moment, and the same happens again. To my first, I dig a deep hole with all that cursed cameo inside it. Lunge to the ground with the rest of the dead. Now he disappeared during the night. No one saw him leave camp. Stains all in place. Anson says we should follow example and flee while we still live. But I cannot leave it like this. This valley is full of bones. Anson screamed in my face, called me a man, but I must tell someone what we found. See, there was a group of archaeologists from Castor Cobra at the... Time to ring, it's covered in blood. So, there's a curse going on. Maybe we should investigate. But next time. Hope y'all enjoy. Thank y'all. Have a nice day.